Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and uh, we're here with another M21 instant deck tech, uh, quick deck tech. Uh, I am going to be playing in the early streamer event on the 24th. As such, uh, same with all the other seasons and other sets, I release a bunch of deck lists. Uh, kind of initial brews that I want to try out with the new set. Uh, they're obviously not fully tuned and they're untested at this point, but kind of strategies I want to test out along the way. Um, the format is best of one, so no sideboards on these. Um, but if they are kind of good when we're playing it, then I'll revise and add sideboards afterwards. Um, so what we have here is a Gruel Monsters list. Uh, Gruel being red green, monsters generally referring to big kind of smashy threats. Uh, and we got some cool inclusions to the archetype uh, with M21, notably Terror of the Peaks. Uh, so Terror of the Peaks is a 5 mana dragon, 5-4, flying. Uh, it has a pseudo built-in protection that spells that uh, your opponent casts that target it. costs an additional 3 life to cast, so it kind of burns them if they deal damage. And then whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Terror deals damage equal to that creature's power to any target. Um, so everything comes in and it deals damage that way. So it's a nice kind of additional reach uh, in the archetype. Um, and then the other new card I want to test in the deck, there's a couple new cards actually, so maybe let's just start from the get-go. Uh, Domri's Ambush, premier removal in the Gruul archetype. You have Paradise Druid um, as ways to ramp into some of our bigger threats. Two of Scavenging Ooze, likely could go up more most likely. Uh, Scavenging Ooze is one of the premier kind of two drops that scales well into the late game. Uh, it exiles opponent's graveyards, it gains you life, gets big as a threat. Uh, four Zertog Goblins, maybe something that we do a split there after testing. Uh, some Bone Crushers as removal and uh, just another body. Domri is a way to help ramp as well. Uh, you can effectively go turn four uh, Terror, either through Paradise or Domri. Um, it also allows our stuff to not be countered. Uh, Garrick's Harbinger is a new card. Um, might be more sideboard material versus like the black base removal decks, but something I want to try out. Uh, this is a 3 mana 4 3 hexproof from black, so it can't be targeted by black uh, spells or abilities or creatures' uh, abilities. And then whenever it deals damage to a player or planeswalker, you get to look at that many cards from the top of your library, reveal a creature card or a Garrick planeswalker, in our deck just a creature card and then put it into your hand. Uh, the rest go into the bottom of your library. So it's kind of card advantage and gruel, which we haven't really seen. Uh, some spell breakers, as always. And then there's Rada, uh, Heart of Keld. Uh, this is kind of like the Corsair or crew fix if you played during that time style effect. This allows you to play lands off the top of your library. Notably, you can only play as many lands as you're allowed to for that turn. So normally just one, unless you have an effect that allows you to play more. But this allows pseudo card advantage and allows you to keep drawing your threats out. 3 mana, 3-3 three, three for its uh, body isn't bad. It also has first strike during your turn. And then late game for 6 mana, it gets plus XX, where X is the number of lands you control. Uh, we also have one Clothis uh, as a way to attack your opponent's graveyard and gain you some life. Uh, Nylea is a way that I wanted to try out as another way to reduce the cost of your bigger spells. It's also a way to feed mana into it to get some card advantage. Uh, Questing Beast, obviously a good card. Uh, might be better served killing Nile or cutting Nylea for another Questing Beast, and then the Four of Terrors. Um, in this particular build, we're not playing Embercleave. It may be wrong, but I'm not playing as many smaller threats. We're a little bit bigger on the curve, so it's more about smashing your opponent in than getting that really kind of cheap uh, Embercleave-style value. Mana base, we got some Fabled Passages, Stomping Grounds, and Temples, and then just a bunch of basics. Uh, so that's pretty much the deck. Uh, let me know what you think, uh, if there's any other decks you'd be interested in seeing as well, uh, if you have any suggestions for this one, uh, and otherwise I'll catch you hopefully on the 24th. Appreciate you stopping by, and have a great one.